Next is from Vin Rich- Richicelli, and the subject is Gorgeous George. Hey, what's up, guys? Huge fan of the show. Just finished watching the Macho Man Randy Savage documentary A and E. The show was good up until Gorgeous George appeared, and that's when the show went south real quick. Had a question for K Dog and Disco regarding Gorgeous George because it seems like she was brought on just to trash Randy. What do you remember most about her from her time in WCW? Thanks, Vin from Connecticut. I didn't. I didn't really. Nobody really got to uh, interact with her that much because Randy was always so jealous that mm-hmm. no, nobody really talked to his girl. You know, so it's like just you just didn't do it. And uh, then then she started dating one of the misfits, Jerry Only. Like she hooked up, yeah, Jerry. She hooked up with like one of the misfits. What a weird. Uh, that's a weird jump. You go from jacked. Randy Savage to like skinny, pale musician from the Misfits, you know. But yeah, I don't yeah. know Conan what you saw about that. But the Randy Savage A and E biography came out the other night or whatever, and people were <laughs> because the second hour was like just burying Randy for being, uh, you know, on drugs and steroids, midlife crisis. He did this, he did that, and people were comparing it to like. But awesome. what, But when you saw it, did it look like a burial? Did it, this is the truth. And Second people. hour looked like a burial, dude. Bubba the Love Sponge was on there. What's he doing there? You know, it's Hogan's boy, not not Savage. But and uh, what was this girl saying about him? How was she burying him? That he was, uh, you know, on a bunch of drugs and and right. uh, seriously on ecstasy a lot, and that he he spied on her with cameras in his house. He spied on her house and shit like that. Uh, but it's I'm not saying these things aren't true. But the problem was Austin and Piper had biographies before that, <clears throat> the previous two weeks. And everyone was like, dude, Austin and Piper got these glowing, you know, testimonials from everyone. And why is Savage all of a sudden getting singled out and, and shit on? It just seemed uh, it's specific. Just, it's just, I'm, not, I'm not a big fan of trashing a guy and if, where there's no corroboration of the, of the story. Mm-hmm. You know, like she could she could bury the guy. The guy's dead. He, he there's no way he can say that's not true. That's you know, it's like I, I'm not I'm not fa- a fan of stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm not a fan of any of these shows. To be honest with you. I mean, these dark side of the ring stuff. I mean, all the, all the people in the business like, like watching this, but I'm not I'm not a fan of it. The first, I'm not. I'm not. I watched a couple seasons, and it says, "Bro, it's just everything is. Just, it's the dark side of the ring. Yeah, it's the bad side of the business. It's not." None of these things paint the business in a good light. It's like behind you know? when Behind the Music first came out, everybody loved to hear, man, we were crazy on drugs, and oh, I woke up in the bathtub, and nah, 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 all that stuff. That's what people wanted to hear. Now Dark Side of the Ring. Yeah, I know people that watch it that aren't wrestling fans, you know? And uh, But that first, Pillman's is on Thursday. The first hour of the Pillman special was released early, and man, he had a crazy crazy life. Not even like loose cannon in front of the cameras. I'm talking about his, his personal life. Just crazy shit. Any comments, Conan? Huh? What? All right, never mind. All right, here we go. I gotta, let's go to the next one. The next one's from Johnny. This is an interesting question. Mm. This is piggybacking off a question we had before. Yeah. It's from Johnny Castro. The subject is Gorgeous George. Gorgeous George just went on A&E and buried the Macho Man with some pretty wild allegations. A couple months back when Penzer had her on his podcast, he asked her how she met Savage. She told this long story about how Randy rescued her at a strip club after she got in a fight with Evil Knievel while all the members of ZZ Top and Allman Brothers were watching. <laughs> The story seemed full of shit to me. What do y'all think of Gorgeous George? Do you think she's credible? And that's from Johnny Castro. I, th- that story sounds, you know, I, I've never heard that. She told the same story or a similar story on the A&E bio, but she only mentioned that, like, she bumped Evil Knievel and then got thrown out of the club or something, and Randy was outside hanging out. I didn't hear anything about ZZ Top or the Allman Brothers, but is, is she credible? I don't know. It, I mean, <laughs> She, she wasn't shy on that show about talking about her own party and stuff. If she was partying really hard, you know, that 20 years ago, how great are her recollections? You know, I don't know. Yeah. 